Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about staging your Matterport tours. So you can go from this to this in just a few minutes. Let's get started. First, you wanna to go to the Matterport tour that you wanna create the staging for. Then you want to share your tour, go to the select unlisted or public, and then copy that link. Once you have that copied, you go over to captured.io, that's C-A-P-T-U-R-3-D.io and uh, you upload your tour to their site. So you hit new, create virtual tour. And real quick, link below to this company where you get currently get 75 credits to use their system. So you could do this. It costs seven credits to have them create a virtual brand. So you could theoretically create 10 of these without having to pay anything currently. So that link is below, but real quick, what you do is you paste in your tour and make sure it pops up there. You put in the address. And if you have any specific branding for a client or yourself, you select that client or what branding you want to use. And then they import the logo. You only have to upload it one time. They import the logo, the name, the number, email, all that stuff where it captures your client's information. But anyway, you continue on. I'm not going to order this. I already have what I need ordered and done, but this is where you go. And then you, you can create floor plans, they can do production, and you get a free website. You confirm your order down below here at seven credits, and then you go to that property. Mine, the one that I have, for example, is right here. So you open up that property, all this other stuff you can play around with, check it out, update it. I'll do some videos if you're interested about each detail, but about the staging on the far right, you have Creator Studio. Click Creator Studio. And then what you wanna do is if you want to set up your staging as default, so when somebody opens up your link, it automatically shows the staging if you want that as a default. If you want the user to be able to say yes to staging, yes or no, that's there. And tags, now inside the Creator Studio, you can create tags using the captured uh, software, which I suggest makes everything all in one place. Or if you've already made tags in Matterport, select Matterport and then the Matterport tags will continue to be active. You can only do one or the other, you can't have both. And then uh, if you want to turn the staging off completely, there's this button here. So in the future, if you don't want it to be running for any reason, there you go. So let's enter that creator studio and check out what we can do. And be sure to stick around until the end. I'm gonna show you how to include a 3D moving asset. That is a total game changer. We'll get you more clients. Uh, especially if you're looking at doing Matterports, continual hosting for hotels, restaurants, things like that, where they need attention grabbers. All right, you can see the furniture and everything I've placed and put in here already. Uh, let's go, let's go to an empty room. Now it's pretty straightforward. You have two different ways to get assets. You can get the assets directly from Captured, which is growing constantly, or you can get assets from Sketchfab, which is linked directly. And Sketchfab is a 3D, uh, mega giant where you can get hundreds of thousands of 3d objects for free to place inside virtual tours 3d areas it is a huge it's a huge list of things you can find so here on the top left are 3d are captured assets and then sketchfab assets real quick we will just show you the captured assets different categories to make it easy to find something if you're in the kitchen bedroom appliances, vehicles, if you're putting it in the garage, y'all click on that real quick. You got a couple different cars here, sports car that you can get, but right now we are in a bedroom. So let's find a bed to put in there. So we click on bedroom and uh, it's a guest room. So I want to put something simple in here, single bed, because I want to put a few things in here. So I can select the single bed and then whatever flat service is available, it will put it there. So if you put your bed there, it'll be up on the side. So make sure you click in the right spot. And then you find close to where you want to put it. Select, not too bad. You can play around with it. I really think that's ugly. So I am not going to put that in there. Let's choose a different bed. Oh, that one looks good there. Let's choose this single bed. That one's lining up a little bit better. Let's put it in the middle select for some reason it moved me when i went there so i want to go back and there you go that's uh, not too bad it looks a little small so let's 
upsize it with this one. This one just makes it bigger there. And then let's move it so it's not back in that wall there. Done. And let's put a nice picture right above it. So let's go up to where it says bedroom. And then they have a category called decor. And we'll just put a painting. Oh, you can put a rug under there if you want. So let's do that. I should have put that first, but got a rug. And then let's put a painting above the bed to work on the decor. Uh, this will be fine. There you go. And then you can play with it, make it bigger, smaller. You get the idea. Uh, let's go back to the bedroom, put some nightstand here. I am not an interior designer, so don't judge me. But that does look pretty good. Simple. How simple is that? So the, the, the awesome thing is we could have turned that carpet around so it makes more sense. But everything stays in position while you move around into the different parts of the house. You still see the bed. You still see the frame. Like I said, the this is a game changer enough. But what if you could put moving people, moving objects, animals inside your tour? So those are all the assets in Capture. But inside Sketchfab, you have hundreds of thousands, if not millions more of options of moving objects and uh, things you can use. I know there's one that fits perfectly in this area. It's uh, the Sophia one. Uh, I put this, this was a Sketchfab. This grill right here was a Sketchfab addition. I, I sized that pan and cooking stuff to there but there's a Sophia that I wanted to put on this side of the counter so it looks like somebody's there cooking somebody to talk to um, and again there's hundreds of different uh, choices you have on what you want to put but you can see the direction of the box it goes into the counter and the island so when I select it if I just leave her here she'll eventually walk into the counter walk into the, the island one way or the other. So I definitely need to turn her so she doesn't walk that way. But I also want to turn her so she uh, is facing the right way, like she's talking to somebody. So I'll go down to rotate. That's the wrong one. Go down to rotate. Then I'll make sure I select the left and right one. And then you can rotate her. And there you go. And there she is ready to talk, ready to have the conversation. If she doesn't quite fit the area, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Just grow her up a little bit or resize her so she fits. And no matter where you go, she works, she fits. That's pretty cool, it's a game changer. And a bonus tip, what happens when the light and the shadows that are created from this 3D objects don't match? Check this out. So as you can see, let's see, you got these shadows right here. They're all going this direction, facing that way. If you go on the top right, you go from assets, you click lighting, you can do light intensity. So if you want it to be much brighter, you see how all that changes. If you want to change the angle, if the light you can see right here is kind of coming in this way. So let's change that angle of that light a little bit. That moves everything around. If you want darker shadows, cause it's bright, lighter shadows and uh, even if you want the scene to be a little brighter or darker, you got all these options. And then you got your light tones, blue sky. This is basically your white balance. And it there's so much detail you can put into these to make it the most realistic that you possibly could. And then you can do custom white balance or the default white balance. And then uh, once you have all this done, uh, the main thing one of the main things, the most important things to keep track of is this uh, up here on the top right, the green. If this starts to move into the red, that means you're, or yellow, that means you're having a lot of assets. That's going to take a while to upload. So let's click preview and see how quickly this uploads the staging that we put in. See, it's already there before we even uh, got into the tour. Let's go to the dollhouse view again. And you can see the staging is there each of the rooms, let's go floor plan view. And all of our staging that we put in is in the floor plan view. It's in the dollhouse view. It's all over the place. Game changer, awesome. 
and the preview is looking pretty good. On the left, they can turn the staging on or off. They can contact your client, which my clients love that feature. And they can uh, navigate by looking at the map, see where it is in the big world. And then you see how it took just a couple seconds for everything to load. If you had a ton of stuff, let's exit that preview. And that was more on the yellow or red, then you might need to remove some stuff, rethink your design, so easier assets. I'm sure the 3D moving assets are bigger than the other ones. And don't forget your, I forgot to show you the meta tags. Now, if you use their tags on 3D Captured, you can link out to different things. Here, I just did the lows where you get this at, but if you're at a hotel, you could uh, link to their reservation page. Uh, you could either have it go to a pop-up like this or to hold another page. Ways to use this service are limitless. I love Captured.io. Again, the link is below. Comment below different ways you would use this, different ideas. Uh, I, if I think of anything else, I will definitely share with you guys. If you think of something or if you have any questions about the whole process, comment below. Definitely thank you for following along with this this far. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button. I appreciate everybody's uh, attention, time, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.